second sight of Asian man in the auto, small and tight, raindrops sporadically hitting left arm contained within synthetic cloth, contained mind, nothing comes, heavy beat wishing on a star, unsettled belly, though hunger satisfied, want something, want something, constant sucking. The pen is dead. Long live the pen. A recap then. Quick goodbye to the mom. Long line at Orlando Airport to check in. Quick smoke and boarding. Immediately made use of the small monitor in front of every seat and watched Monster, which was a terribly sad and intelligently well done film. A little sleep, then we watched the new film from Jack Nicholson. And there goes the memory. Another nap, breakfast, a nap. And there we were, Gatwick Airport. I did fine without smoking. However, when I knew we, we were close, I got impatient and almost ran out of the plane. Customs was funny. On the form I had to fill out, under employment, I paid Flaneur. The custom agent asked me what it was, and I said it was a joke, and he said it was very amusing. <laughs> he said it was the most, he said it in the most driest and perhaps sarcastic way possible. I said thank you. <laughs> photograph of room with insulation. Insulation with a photograph of insulation. Surface is depth, depth is surface. If I take characteristics of objects in order to create insulations, what if I take characteristics of personalities in order to create insulations? Mm -hmm. Los Angeles has been destroyed by an unknown alien entity. The whole place is rubble. Various peoples will survive. Normals and freaks. The freaks have been taken as parasites by the alien organism. When possessed by them, there is no indication other than they take on psychotic behavior, and once in a while, the pink, worm like creature will crawl, slip out of bodily orifices. It looks like a tongue. Scene. Two girls try to find their way home. Normals try to rape them. A freak acting as a normal follows one girl to her downtown LA hotel where a lot of normals are pulled up. He seems all normal till the girl sees the tongue climbing out of him. Two. Cars and trucks, radio, billboards, alarm clock, Pedestrian, television, men, Coca Cola, flesh, juices, tofu, French baguette, Dutch crunch, cheese, sleep, sleep, egg crate, pillows, clothes, shoes, people, friends. Of these, which one is more meaningful? I like just walking around by myself today, just looking at people, stores, things, casually, no fast walking. There's so much to see and learn. I am bothered by these thoughts of the future and wish I could be more positive because it's casting a shadow over the nice day. Sometimes I feel like I'm capable of accomplishing anything, and then sometimes I feel so dumb and dull-headed that I'm incapable of creating anything significant at all. I haven't even tried. I need to try. I find it amazing that some of these Brits have the pinkest cheeks and that bad fashion sense runs rampant. If we were to look closely at a word, we could find enough material to produce a thesis. Same holds true for an image. The 
suffering machine. Picasso called women suffering machines. Research biological organisms whose existence could be interpreted as suffering and put them in a petri dish. that he shot up, he missed, and the second doe he trimmed, he kissed, and the third ran away in a young man's heart. She's amongst the leaves of the green. Phenomenological description. Sheets of paper that describe the appearance of things. Get a stranger to meet with me over the course of a long time period. First meeting, we always stare. One hour. Tape it. Write down all you experience. Emotions, visual qualities. Second meeting. Touch. Going down the cave hole, two monitors showing two Krishnamurtis talking to each other. Unnamed things. Things British people hate about America. Americans hate about the Britons. You are now talking to a work of art, and you are now part of a work of art by participating in the work of art. How do you feel about being a work of art? Do you feel exploited? Do you have any concerns about being a work of art? <laughs> Thank you.